Hello Shamai and welcome back to the Director of Football Challenge and today we have a very very special episode indeed. I was going to bring you the Man United game but instead something amazing happened and we are into the semi-finals of the FA Cup as you already can tell by the title of this video. We are playing Crystal Palace, we had probably the one of the easier draws is that Arsenal was still in the competition who were beating, beaten by Reading. So if we can beat Crystal Palace today, we have a very, very good chance of winning the FA Cup and going into Europe in our first season. Well, it'll be our second season, but qualifying for Europe in our first season. And to be honest with you, this is one of the most successful saves I've had, considering how well we've done with, and we haven't even been able to make transfers ourselves as well. Overall, things have been going very, very well since the last episode. That bought nil-nil draw against West Ham. Following that, we had our pretty unbelievable win against Spurs. 3-1 it was, and we didn't really FM them, but they had 22 shots and we had seven, and we managed to score three goals from those seven shots. So that was pretty impressive. And back in the league, it was a little bit disappointing again with a nil-nil draw against Watford. But following that, we had two pretty excellent results. A 1-0 away win against Crystal Palace and a 4-1 away win against Burnley with Laurenti finally ending his goal drought. And he hadn't scored since January, but he'd scored then. So did Federico Fernandes, Jordan Ayew and Gilfie Sigurdsson. Unfortunately, we got a bit battered by Man United at home, but I'm putting down, I'm using the excuse that everyone was hyped up for the FA, FA Cup semi final. So you can't really blame the players from that. Big, big match here. We're going to be playing at Wembley against Crystal Palace, who in, this, in the table they're 15th, and we recently played them and won 1 0 away. I don't want to read too much into it, but you know, judging on the record this season, when was the other time we played them? If we can just have a look. Crystal Palace, we won 3 1 at home. So we've taken six points off Crystal Palace this season, and now we have them in the FA Cup semi final. So it's a very, very big day. And if we just take a quick look at the league, things are very, looking very, very comfortable. We are ninth in the table, safe from relegation. And I think we should be hoping now for a top half finish as well. This is probably going to be the penultimate episode in case, just in, unless we win this then I'll show the final game of the season and obviously the FA Cup final against Reading if we just happen to be there. For any of you interested on the update on Michael Laudrup, he's hit a little bit of a bump. They've lost two games in a row. They haven't won in three games but still they're outside the relegation zone so Michael Laudrup is doing all right there. Stoke, West Brom and Middlesbrough in the relegation zone as it stands and like I said today we face Crystal Palace at Wembley Stadium. And the team for today has been a pretty consistent team for the last few weeks. Bruno has been an absolute fantastic addition to the squad. He's been playing very well in centre-back and he keeps his place today in the team. We have Fabianski in goals, Carl Norton, Bruno, Federico Fernandes and Federico Rica. Unfortunately, Martin Olson did get injured and he's pretty much going to miss the remainder of the season Probably he might be fit for the last couple of games, but it's unlikely. Jack Hawke is the holding midfielder. Leroy Fur and Keeson Young as the central midfielders. Gilfie Sigurdsson behind the striker. And Jordan Ayew and Fernando Llorente up front. Fernando Llorente scored just a couple of games ago and has been playing fairly decently recently. Jordan Ayew has been playing very well and Gilfie Sigurdsson had a blinder a game a few games ago. Keeson Young is another one who's been playing very, very well and apparently he's wanted by Man City. So in this, he's worth 9.2 million. So I'm hoping maybe Man City will come in and we'll get, get a bit, bit of money for him. But obviously that's not going to be up to me because I am at the mercy of the director of football. So here we are in today's game then against Crystal Palace. Here's the team. Let's get ready to go to Wembley. Rather surprisingly for me, Crystal Palace are the favourites. I'm not really sure why. We're in good form in the league and we're above them in the league by quite a lot of points. But apparently Crystal Palace are favourites. And it says, yeah, I think it will come down to the lottery of a penalty shootout. Johan Gabay and Art Nelson will be missed by their respective sides. Christian Benteke is a guy we've got to really look out for and make sure he's marked quite tightly today because he can obviously cause a lot of problems from set pieces and crosses into the box. So here we go, the big team talk just before the game at Wembley. I tend to do the same team talk all the time. But still, it seems to be working this season. If we look at the goals, we've been really lacking in goals. We had three nil-nils in a row. And I was, it seems like the second half of the season has been the opposite of the first, where we're not really scoring goals, but we're conceding a lot less. 
And as you can see here, out of our strikers, Borja Baston's got nine. Fernando Rente is finally in double figures on ten. Not all of them have come in the Premier League as well. And Jordan Ayew is on eight. Jordan Ayew is a little bit better because he's got six assists as well. And Gilfie Sigurdsson has contributed to 18 goals this season, which is pretty impressive and not far off his real-life tally as well. So obviously, I know I said that we probably should be favourites for this game, but I'm not going to take anything for granted. I know this is going to be a tough game. You're at Wembley, kind of form goes out the window, and it's such a big occasion. And Crystal Palace get the first shot on goal. We need to apparently close down Patrick Van Aalholt a lot quicker. 15 minutes in, not a single highlight yet. The first yellow card of the game goes to Crystal Palace. Matthew Flamini, but oh no, someone else has already been booked. Who's that? Scott Dan's been booked in the first 10 minutes. We're at 25 minutes now and, and still no highlights. We're almost at half time and there's still no highlights. It looks like there's a free kick here. Van Aalholt strikes it. It's head, headed clear, I think. And MacArthur had a great chance there but he completely missed it and it's gone wide. And that was the, the only real highlight. And we've, we're playing pretty poorly at the moment. But so Crystal Palace, I suppose. There hasn't been a single highlight, which means the game has just been pretty drab affair. Probably the occasion getting better for some of the players. And they're a little bit you know, under pressure. But maybe I shouldn't have put it on so disciplined and let the players play the way they want to play. Federico Fernandes is having a good game. It's a highlight here. Van Aalholt with a free kick. It goes deep into the box. And, oh, no. What has Fabianski done? He just dropped the ball. Brent Tech has only scored four goals this season. But he scored here. It's just typical. It was a brilliant free kick in. Whoever that has challenged for the head has done terribly. And I don't know what Fabianski's doing there. He could easily come out and smother that as well. We're going to have to make some changes, I think. We're going to go to attack in. We may as well just go for the game. Why is pumped the ball into the box on? I did not want to do that. Um, who's playing really poor? Fernando Llorente is playing... Wait, we've just equalised. What's just happened? That has literally just happened straight away and we've just equalised. I cannot believe I've missed that. We've equalised already. It said Jordan I have scored. We've got a hi another highlight here. It goes into the box. Great chance there to score. And there's a counter-attack on now. Van Arnholt's got the ball. He's running towards the box. Can he get across it? No. Norton gets the ball back. And maybe a counter-attack for us. No, we've lost the ball. That was it. Well, apparently... Oh, so much is happening. Let's just let's just chill out for a sec and pause. So Jordan Ayew scored in the 68th minute, just four minutes after, and I missed it. So I've missed that goal. Jordan Ayew scored. No one got the assist. Oh, well, actually, I don't know. We're going to bring Andrea Horta on for Gilfie Sigurdsson and make our first sub of the game. We probably should be making more, but this may go to extra time. We're going to take Leroy. No, actually, no. We're going to wait and see if this goes extra time or not. I'm assuming it will. We're in the 87th minute now. The games, if there's a draw, they tend to fizzle out towards the end. There's a highlight though. Andre Horta with it to Key, to Norton, to Fur. Mi Miljelovic has surely going to be sent off here. Second yellow card, he's been sent off. So we can stick the game onto control now because he has been sent off. We want to take, pump the ball. Right. Let's slow down. Let's sort this out. One all. That's all, that's all we want. We're into extra time. That's the important thing here. So let's change some of the instructions. We'll take off, pump the ball into the box. We don't want that. Take off, be more disciplined. And we'll keep it like that for now. Who's really tired? Leroy Fur is. We're going to bring Tom Carroll on for Leroy Fur as just a straight swap. And hope now that they've had a red card so we'll be able to dominate the game. Van Aalholt with a free kick that goes into the box. It's headed away. It's back in there. MacArthur and it's good save by Fabianski. MacArthur's had a couple of chances this game now and he really should have given Palace a lead and couldn't have given them a lead again there. Fernando Rente is playing, well, he's not playing awful, but he's very, very tired, so we're going to bring him off as well and give us a good target man up front in Borja Baston. I kind of want to put it on attacking. At the same time, I could just let it go to extra time. We'll, we'll keep it as it is for now, and if it goes to penalties, it goes to penalties, and we'll get some excitement. Frederico Rico with it out on the wing. He crosses it, and there's nothing from it. There's just over 10 minutes remaining in this game. Maybe we can nick it right at the end. Keating Young. There's a lot of really tired legs up there. Oh, Cal Palace are on the tack. It goes to MacArthur. Can we win it back? We've got it. Andre Horta to Borja Baston, who's fresh legs. He can run at the defence. He runs into the box, strikes it, and it's straight up. Mandanda, really easy save in the end. Not really testing the goalkeeper. We've only had one clear cut chance in the whole game, and it looks like this game is going to penalties. It is. Keith Gilfie Sigurdsson's our best penalty taker, but obviously he is injured. So here we go then, with the penalty shootout. It's not really what we wanted. Van Arnold with the first one, and Fabianski saved it. 
get in there. Patrick Van Arnold misses. Ki Sung Young steps up. Can he slot it home? He does. We're 1-0 up. What a start to the penalty shootout. Who's next? Come on, big Fabianski. Benteke takes it and is saved by Fabianski again. Get in there. As long as Borja scores this now, we're looking comfortable. He does. I don't know how Mandanda hasn't saved that, but we're 2-0 up in the penalty. Please, Campbell, if he misses this, Fabianski has saved it again. If we score, we've won. I'm pretty sure if my maths is right, Tom Carroll, he scored. We've won the penalty shootout 3-0. Fabianski is the absolute hero in the end. And we go to the FA Cup final. That is absolutely unbelievable. And who will we be playing in the FA Cup final? Reading. 900k for that. Gilfie Sigurdsson ended up for three to four weeks. Which might... Oh, that could leave him out of the FA Cup final. But I don't think it will. 3-0 on penalties in the end. Fabianski, absolute hero. We've got loads of money for that. And we're now going to be playing in the FA Cup final against it says unknown but it's going to be against reading oh my word this average well i'd say average it's been a pretty good season overall so far we're 10th in the league with possibility of going higher up but we're into the fa cup final against reading a team who are where are they in the championship they're eighth in the championship so they could miss out on the playoffs as well a team that has that's not even in the playoffs as it stands we're playing against in the fa cup final and we're going to be dead on favorites to win that so there's going to be a lot of pressure on us to win the FA Cup final now and qualify for Europe in our first season. That would be absolutely unbelievable and probably help a lot in keeping some of our players here and maybe attracting some more players. What a fantastic episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, see how we get on in the FA Cup final, please subscribe. And if you have any tips or comments, please leave a comment down below. I'll see you again.